okay, now that we got that cut up, we got the hardest part done. Now we're just going to start filling our jars. And you don't want these packed tightly either. And I'm not even going to mess with the funnel because we're cold packing. So I'm just going to pack them in there. About an inch headspace. You want a one inch headspace. And you may add more after you debubble them. Remember, not tight. I got my water heating up on my stove. And, uh... We're going to just fill these with water. I am not putting salt in mine because I just am not quite sure what I'm going to use these for. You could make pies with these, believe it or not. You know, use them for a side dish. So I'm just going to simply can them in water. And then, you know, if I decide what I'm going to do with the jar or whatever, then I can season it up accordingly. That's good. was just about perfect. I'll probably be able to get those last few pieces in there when I put the water in and debubble them. And in fact, I'm going to put them in there right now. And that's it. And there, friends, we've got 18 beautiful jars, so I'm going to make room in between them so that I can fill them up. I'm going to wind up doing two canner loads because I'm not going to use my big 22-quart canner, which I usually do, but I'm not. I needed to get a new ring for it. Okay, so we are ready to fill these with water. I got some piping hot water right here. I'm not messing with my funnel because this is just too simple. Okay, I'll start with these few first and I'll show you. Here. Remember, we want one inch headspace, which is right at the neck of this jar. You get your knife down in there or your tool or whatever it is. You see that? How nice that is? And it is definitely one inch. Make sure you get that all. All the air out of that. That's at an inch. I'm on a streak here. We want that. There we go. We don't want this in there. I might use it in another jar, but not this one. Okay, that is an inch of head space. And there's that one. All right, so those five. Now we're going to go through. We don't have to tap any of these off. Yes, we do. That one needs just a little bit. Now we can go through 
and you can wipe these off. And always, always wipe these rims off because there could be debris in there, even little bits. And it will, it will stop your jar from sealing or it could create a false seal and it'll pop on you later. You don't want that. So just wipe that off real good. Let's practice. Okay. I got these. Look at mine is blue. I get these from my Amish ladies. And I have not had any of these not seal. They're fantastic. Lay them right on there. Now we're going to do these finger tight. And that's it. You don't want to crank these down. Just finger tight. Maybe. There. Okay. So there's the first five. I'm going to get the rest of these done, and then we'll get them in the canner. Okay, friends, you see I got them in there, and I got 10 of my pints in this one. I'm going to put a little bit of vinegar in there that keeps my water or my jars from getting cloudy. It cleans them beautifully. We're going to put the lid on this. Okay, now that we got that on, I got the burner turned on, and this vent, when it starts spewing a steady stream of steam, I'm going to let that uh, vent for 10 minutes. And once it's vented, I'm going to put my jiggler on there. And then when my jiggler starts to jiggle, most important, when it starts to jiggle, that's when I will time this for 55 minutes for pints. Well, there you go, friends. I got the first 10 pints of butternut squash out of the canner. I got the other eight of them in there. Beautiful. No siphoning. The headspace is good. They look wonderful. And I can't wait to get them cleaned up tomorrow and get them put in my pantry. This is fantastic. And I got all 18 jars for two bucks. Now, you can't beat that. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to can up butternut squash. You all have a good night. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.